When considering the duty of your application, a couple of things to consider with your motor pick. If you have a direct drive application, your motor only has a torque stress to act against. And so there's not any stress acting against it in the horizontal direction. So that type of motor, you only need ball bearings on both sides, no matter how large it gets. We've got a 400 horse motor behind us that's a direct driven application. So both sides of this motor have ball bearings on them. If you have a belt driven motor, the smaller ones, let's say one to 75 horsepower, those motors are gonna probably have a ball bearing on both sides because that's most typical. And the load from a belt just isn't that great in those lower horsepowers. But the bigger your horsepower gets, let's say 100 horsepower and greater, you've got quite a bit of stress acting against the motor in the horizontal direction. So you've got to pull against it in that direction in addition to the torque that's already required to spin that wheel. And so in that type of an application, that drive end bearing on the motor, you want that bearing to be a roller bearing. It helps, uh, it helps keep the life of the bearing up so that you don't fail much quicker than you would if you had a ball bearing on the drive end.